Hey, kiddo, how are you doing today? Today is January 17th, 2022. As you may have noticed, I didn't record last night because I, I just came too late. So decided that, well, I had to go and sleep. I always do, it, uh, do them at night, the videos, because then, you know, I can say all the things that happened during the day, you're asleep, so me doing this is not going to, you know, having you to, like, have, well, uh, I always say, you know, you know, you know, and uh, uh, uh. I have to be careful with that, and hopefully every day I get better. So, what I was saying is that I don't want these videos to be a reason to close the door, right, and not let you in because you are very curious. So the moment I close the door, you're like knocking in the door and you just want to get in. I also don't want mommy to have to get you out of the apartment uh, so I can do this. So I better do it at night and, and, um, and I love it because it's all quiet so I have time to to reflect on the day and remember the things that we did and beautiful things that just caught my attention. So I'll just tell you since what happened since yesterday. Yesterday was cool because normally Sundays um, there's some masseuse that come and massages mummy and sometimes uh, she massages me as well. But I try to get mummy to have three hours completely for herself she doesn't have many hours for herself believe me like like caring for you is a it's a massive endeavor for her uh, because she's 24 7 with you like literally 24 hours a day except those days that i get you you know like we go somewhere together and uh, she has a bit of time for herself sometimes she just sleeps but sometimes she's really you know she she, she just tides things up and do everything that she usually can't do when you're around. Now you allow her to do stuff, but before you are so accustomed to have our undivided attention that you couldn't just understand that mommy was doing the dishes and you would just be crying like crazy. And when you were able to crawl and stand a little bit up, you would be like just on her leg and, and you know, the scene was, it broke our hearts because you would cry like there was no, no, it, it was the end of the world for you that mommy was doing something um, not and not taking care or not putting full attention on you. So when she, like for her, you and her had massive problems when she was cooking stuff so she could eat. You would you just, of course, you don't understand what's happening. You don't, you don't understand any explanation, right? Because for food, for you, food is just something that's just ready. It's just boom there all the time. But mommy had to, 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 to have uh, to pay some attention to what she was doing, obviously. And uh, you would be crying like crazy, and she would, she would get desperate at some point, and um, she would kind of like shout at you and then she would feel you would be sad and then she would be feeling guilty sad and guilty and i would arrive home and and she would be just desperate because one of the things mommy loves is it's not just eating but the act of having a meal for her is extremely important um or it used to be at least when, when i met her she was like Everything has to be perfect. Like people have to go to, you know, sit down, like sit by the table, have time to talk, put, you know, have the food in, on, on, the, on the table and serve. And, you know, like all have to do really like not formal, but very uh, paying attention to the food itself. So when she met me, it was already a shock because I'm the kind of person that, loves eating standing up from wherever i can eat like 
if, if 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 I can eat from from from, you know, whatever whatever cooking thing, pan or something we used, if I can, I just take the pan and just take whatever, um, you know, uh, uh, spoon, right? No matter how big or, or small, and I would just I just eat, just eat like so fast because for me food. It's something, I mean, it's really important. I know that and I value very much the nutrition that I get. But I never thought about it as something emotional, something beautiful or something I have to pay attention to. It was just food. And the faster I can finish eating, the faster I can do to do something much more interesting than, than just eating. So when mommy uh, met me and we started living together, she would really take it personal that I wasn't, I wasn't careful enough to really pay attention to it and really take my time and wait for her to, you know, eat, she eats so slowly. My God. <laughs> she just like, and I'm like, <sighs> okay. I, 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 she did a couple of mouthfuls. I had finished. And all I want to do is just get out, you know, just stand up and do something, right? So when I didn't do that, uh, I, w I, I caused a lot of problems at the beginning. And I regret to say that it was not me the one who changed, but it, 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 it was her having to get accustomed to not just me, but you, like eating fast. So uh, when, when you were very young, right? Like super young, and, oh, and it's still now. Actually, I used to eat fast. Now I devour I just like rah, like crazy because now now mommy understands, but back then she didn't understand why I ate so fast, much faster than before. And it was for me to be able to take care of you a hundred percent so mommy could enjoy her meal. But because she saw me eating so fast, like an animal, <laughs> and then she was eating left eating alone because I had finished, she would be very upset. She would be sad. She wouldn't be happy or satisfied with the situation. But until one day she finally got it. I mean, I explained every time, but she just didn't, she couldn't accept it. Until one day I was like, okay, finally. But like She got that if I do that is to help her, right? So anyway. Point being that when she used to cook for you, 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 you made a massive scene every single time. And every single time she got angry, you got sad, she felt guilty and she felt desperate and she felt like she was the worst mom in the world. It was quite a thing. But I don't even know why I, I was telling you all this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good because it's, this is video just just for you so forget your old man here anyway so yesterday the missus come her name is Theo she's fantastic she's a Thai woman uh, super cool super generous super good missus she, uh, really excellent and uh, I just took you you know away like out so mommy could have three hours for herself without without worrying about us. And we went to Emporium, a shopping center in Bangkok. Nice one. So we went there. Ah, and I took you. It's for your first ride on a motorbike. Well, yeah, motorbike. Uh, a long ride. We, we've been three or four times, two, three times, three times we've, we've been on a motorbike, you and I someone driving for us because this is normal here in Bangkok. I, I don't know if we are still here when you, when you see this, uh, but that's, you have these guys that on the motorbike, like motorbike taxi, right? So uh, the, f the first time you ever rode a bike uh, with me, you cried. <laughs> you were just scared. It's funny because you're not really scared, but you cry because I guess it's just too new for you. And I can tell you're not, uh, afraid because your reaction you know when you're afraid i can tell as i have said before you just tremble the whole you is like, like shakes but in this case it's just like mm, i don't like it and i need to cry to release my stress 
Second time, you try to cry, eh, eh, and then you just silent. What I love is that when, when we are on the motorbike, the guy is driving, is riding, driving the motorbike. You are in the middle. Of, you know, I'm hanging you like this, right? And um, so you're looking at me, and then I'm looking forward. And when the motorbike starts, you know, going, you just glue yourself to me, and that's that's just you know how much I love having you close to me. And last and, and and the third time, you were just cool. I mean, you were just like riding. But yesterday it was a long trip, so you at the beginning you were like, eh, eh, eh. and and then you just cool, right? You just 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 cool down, and you just were looking at your big eyes to everything. It's not a long ride; it's just like less than ten minutes. It was Sunday. It was early, so there was no traffic, nothing. And uh, the guys here, they're really like family oriented, so they don't go too fast. They are not the typical idiot motorbike drivers that you find in Bangkok. They're really nice people. So they drove very slowly, very carefully, super nice. We arrived 10 minutes before the shopping center opened. No, 20 minutes before. So you just didn't care. You just <laughs> went straight to the door and started banging. Like <laughs> It's like, it's closed. But you, you don't understand. And, and I think even if you did, you, you just don't care. You just want someone to open that damn door. So you're it's banging, right? Like, okay, cannot. So I just distracted you th- th- by walking in, by, by, the st- you know, by the street, walking from this entrance here, just walking there and just walking to the front main door of the shopping center. But again, it was just t- too soon and you were just banging on the door and banging. And the guys on, 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 the, on the inside, because they were ready to open. They were there. And they were like, no, no. <laughs> You're just like banging, banging. So I decided, okay, I, I, I need to distract you a bit more. So we went to the first floor. We, went, we were on the ground floor. But you can go to the first floor. That It has a nice esplanade between Emporium and M Quartier. So there's, it, it's quite high from ground floor to the first floor. Because it's a commercial floor. So it's quite... A, a big flight of stairs and you love going upstairs but you can't just go unassisted the, the, the steps are really high and really tall for you really high so the next best thing for you is just you go all fours and you just start climbing and, and, and you slap the floor you know you, you know you are like in an adventure you see it as a challenge I can tell that because you don't softly go you just like like bah, bah, smashing your feet and you, you know your, and, and your hands against the floor and again you are barefoot so by the time we arrive I, I mean there must be at least 50 steps 40 to 50 steps and you went all the way to the top which believe me it's a big thing for for a tiny kiddo like you you went there you got there and um and and i can see the satisfaction i i love how you love the accomplishment and that only tells me how human beings all of us need accomplishment need challenge need difficulties we need overcoming we need to know that we can And imagine, I mean, if, if a one year old, almost two years old needs it, imagine how much an adult needs, uh, needs these kind of things. Unfortunately, at this time in, 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 in the world, the idea of not doing anything, the idea that everything has to be all comfortable, all easy, all convenient has permeated society to an extent that it's just getting ridiculous. It's, it's, it's like we're becoming a, a, a planet full of softies. Everyone is a snowflake. Very few people, all, all, like the older people, some older people still has, has, has this attitude. And of course, some adults, some people like me and maybe younger, younger we have it. But it's because we have integrated this into our life or we haven't allowed all these conveniences to, to, to cut our balls. <laughs> like, it's just too much. Um, 
there's no reason why we have to live under so much comfort, comfort and convenience that we, we become this, you know, this soft noodles that are not able to face any obstacle, any problem, and we're not able to overcome anything. So <clears throat> I, I love how you show the true spirit of what a human being should be, the way a man should behave. I like it. I, I, you just remind me this all so often. So anyway, finally, finally, we didn't. We ended up going instead of Emporium. We went to the one opposite to Emporium, uh, M Quartier, and uh, they finally allowed you in. And we allow, they allowed us in, and we went upstairs to. Uh, there's a Starbucks there that is. In, in, the The decoration is really cool. It's like kind of like a jungle. And it has some, some, some uh, like fountains, like pools, right? And there's fish. So you saw the fish. Normally in the past, you, you wouldn't notice. Or, or if you did, they didn't, it was not something that was striking for you. But yesterday you saw them. You saw them, they cocked your attention. And I put you right next to them, right? Like there's a step the steps to go down to where the water is and uh, I sat you there and the fish came and, and you started trying to you know have them and then you put your feet in your legs in and you were trying to kick them and you were trying to uh, like, throw water at them uh, it's just it's, uh, it's, it's beautiful and I was telling you like hey fish you know there's fish there fish fish and suddenly you start like it's 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 I'm like oh, oh it's so cute so so you started this just trying to say the word fish right and you did many times and it's just so soft you 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 big 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 chicks and your tiny soft tongue like it's it's oh, oh daddy's so proud of you but <laughs> So anyway, lovely, uh, 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 such a beautiful time. I love when when you and I go out together uh, without mommy, because it's a different kind of bonding that I I, I enjoy very very much. And um, so we were there um, until we weren't, obviously. Uh, and then what, what happened? We, we went home, I guess. Yes, we did go home. But there's something else that happened in the nighttime. So remember, this is Starbucks, the last thing I said. The night before, I told you, right, that uh, I tried to discipline you, but not in the best way. It was not bad, but definitely it's not the way that aligns with what I believe and the way that I've been interacting with you all this time. So... Uh, In the night time, we usually, we, we have the setting of in the, uh, our bedroom is two big king-size beds right next to the other, like, like, like together. So mommy and you sleep like this and daddy sleeps on the second one like this. So to make sure that you cannot just fall <laughs> this way, right? And we have uh, some, 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 some obstacle here, some, so, some, some kind of net. So here you cannot roll, and here you cannot roll because that is here. But you, you, you wake up, you woke up. And um, I guess because you were sensitive to what happened before you slept. Oh, mommy went to, to, to the toilet. I didn't know that because I was asleep. But then you started, like, eh, like, like you woke up and started like a bit kind of crying is the best way you have for to 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 call for attention but mommy was not there because she was in the toilet so i i woke up and i went to see you i just rolled <laughs> all the way to you normally daddy cannot help you at night unless it's that really uh sad crying that i described in another video um, that is the only way I, in, in the moment I can help you because not even mommy and her milk can help. But normally when you just wake up because you just woke up for some reason and you want to go back to sleep immediately after, you need mommy to breastfeed you in order for you to sleep. But mommy was nowhere to be found because sometimes she takes her time in the toilet. 
and uh, and you will know that for sure by now. But I went there, and the moment you 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 felt me and you saw me, you imme- immediately well, just completely fine. Like you you went fine. You went quiet, and. You were like this because you were looking for me. You, you usually just wake up, eat, get some milk and back. But because you were sad, and we both were not super happy after after uh, what happened. You were looking for me because you were kind of sad or you, you, you needed me as much as I needed you. And that I, I must say. So you were kind of, you, you came close to where I was and I went to look for you and you were like this. No, the, the head opposite to where it usually is pointing to, and you were like this, right? Like with your back on the on the on the bed, and I just took your hands with mine, and you completely went quiet. Usually, you don't want to be held more than a second, but you l- allowed me to be there for I don't know a minute, and I I, I just kissed you, right? I was just kissing you. All, all your, all your, all your faith, and and you loved it, which again is extremely unusual. You liked it. You actually liked it a lot, and because I know because you were just completely quiet and kind of smiling, just enjoying Daddy kissing you. <sighs> and then finally, Mommy came into the room, and normally. She goes, she puts you in the right place, and you drink meal, and boom, that's it. So we did that, and when I saw you were quiet and calm, I started rolling to go back to the side where I sleep and sleep. But you didn't want me to go to sleep. So every time I kind of was starting to roll to go to my side, you started crying, and you were like, you started like trying to crawl to, 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 to catch me, to grab me, and to take me back. So once I understood this, which was very fairly quick, quickly, I just stayed there and I just touched you and I fell asleep. And then mommy told me that you spend at least 30, 40 more minutes just without moving, but actually because, because you were aware and you, were, you wanted to make sure that I was not going anywhere. So I just wanted to tell you how beautiful that night was, right? Anyway, so that's night, then morning, then massage, then we go to Emporium. And this is the reason I have all these things, because, you know, we do all this idiosity about um, that terrible, deadly, infectious disease that we are facing in 2022, which I cannot mention because they may ban this episode. When you go inside the shopping centers and many places, they give you a sticker because they measure your temperature and your temperature is less than 37.5. Imagine how damn stupid this world is that now if you have a little bit of fever, you are not allowed to go to like the subway, the sky train, shopping centers, schools, jobs, you know, offices. I mean, you could be, uh, you get a, you could have a fever for a million different diseases, but now because everyone is so paranoid about this idiosity, they are taking away your liberties just because you have fever. So just because it could be one of them, th- that disease, that disease, then we are discriminating, discriminating people just for the temperature of their bodies. Anyway. <sighs> I hope to whatever year you are in watching it this, we have improved a little bit this bullshit. Anyway, kiddo, so the reason I have this is because you love those stickers. Obviously, those stickers are good like 10 seconds in people's you know, clothing. So they fall, they fall on the ground, and then they stick very well on the ground. Not here, <laughs> on the ground. And <laughs> you cannot see one. We could have the most beautiful decoration in the universe, right? The most amazing light, fireworks or whatever. And you wouldn't care if you see a sticker 
on the floor, <laughs> you immediately go there and start like trying to, you know, like unstick it from the floor, like the ground, and just start. And, and you don't go, you don't leave until until you get those things, and you just give to daddy, or you, you or, or you just break half and you try to put it back, and then you you you, you try to glue it properly and you leave. So mommy bought stickers for you like this. I don't know if you can see, but they have cats and them. Uh, because she saw you love stickers and you love sticking stuff, you know, stickers everywhere. So she bought this for you. And now the whole house is full of stickers. <laughs> the floors are full of stickers. The walls, uh, the doors. And even, I didn't know your mommy takes them away, but I was like, hey, where, where are all the stickers and all his toys? Like, oh, I take them out. I was like, don't. You see? So even all his teddy bears, this is not a teddy bear, obviously. You see, everything has like zillions of stickers. That's you. You see, you put stickers everywhere, seriously. So I just wanted to show you what you, what you used to do when you were one year, eight months old. There, where's this one? I think it's, oh yeah, on the tail, you see? <laughs> so, so yeah, that's what you were doing yesterday uh, on, on the shopping center. Then we came here. It's a, it was a beautiful day. Then I had to, I had to go to work. Mm. Uh, this year we have a restaurant, a Mexican restaurant that um, it's by far the best Mexican food you can eat probably in Asia. Um, so yeah, sometimes we go, and I think I'll take mommy and you tomorrow there. So, anyways, that was yesterday. I may be missing some 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 stuff, and uh, today. Uh, today, it was it was a beautiful morning. We woke up. I wake up later because I usually go to sleep quite late because I'm doing stuff, whatever, like this or many other things, and then I still have to meditate. And so I go very sometimes and many times, many nights. I repair myself as as you know I do with my movement uh, method. So. Many times I end up sleeping at one, two, even three in the morning. So, so sometimes you are almost every day you wake up hour, hour and a half before I do. So, we woke up and we went to IKEA. Mommy wanted to buy some stuff because this place is a mess. This my place is a mess. First of all, I'm not the most organized person. Second, I don't have a lot of places to lead, to have. I have. Sorry, so many things for video and audio and and especially video and audio <laughs> that it's difficult to have them organized. Very, very difficult. But on top of that, when I organize everything, you come here and you just make a mess again. You just take all my bags, everything, and you just start op start opening and all the cables go everywhere and well, so it's a mess. So we went to IKEA to buy boxes and to buy organizers and all these all these things. So it was it, it 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 was nice to be there. And then we we came here. Oh, one thing you love doing in supermarkets is that you see shelves of something. It would, it, the, the other day it was like something to make sauces like Japanese sauce or something. So some sachets, right? And you just start taking sachets and you put them on the trolley, you know, if, and, and I start putting them back <laughs> as, as you're here I, and, and you put them here. The moment you, wait, you, you you turn your face, I just start like putting them back on the shelf. It, it, it's just every single time. It's like we spend like half an hour. You just taking everything from the shelves and I'm and me putting it back, you know, uh, you know, just 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 right next to you. I'm doing it, and you don't care. You you don't think like because th that's the beautiful thing about kids, right? Like and animals. The game. There's no game. It's just play. You know. There's it, the, you, when you're very young, right? When you're a child or animals, also, you they they play for the sake of playing. They don't set rules. They don't keep scores. There is no winners or losers. Actually, these games are just infinite until someone chooses to finish or everyone's like, okay, enough. And everyone runs 
to their houses and that's it. There, there's no, there's no one, there's no losers, there's no winners, there's just, not, there's no rules. It's just uh, a dynamic that allows everyone to have fun and uh, end at any time. So, so I, I, I like how we do that. And today, something amazing happened before going to Ikea, actually. This was really cool. I had no trousers. <laughs> I had just had a shower and I had a shirt on, but I didn't have trousers. So, and, and you, you are so funny because since you were super young, but really, really like only less than a year, Every baby loves going to the street, to, out on the streets. Every single baby loves being out. I guess you guys need so much information. You need so much input. You are so hungry for knowledge, so hungry for experience that, that you need input from the outside. You know, the house inside cannot be that, um, cannot have so many things happening inside. So very early, you realized that daddy needs a mask to go out. Daddy needs car keys. Not always, but many times. Daddy almost always wears shoes of some sort. So you started bring, bring me, bringing me those things as a signal of Daddy, let's go, get out of here, right? So today you, you did the same. You started bringing the shoes because we told you, hey, we're going, we're going out. And you immediately, ah, you know, like, whoa. So you started bringing shoes and everything and I still told him for the first time I never told I never told you this it's like buddy I cannot go out I need trousers I don't have trousers and you were like you, st you stopped like processing right I didn't I, of course I, I looked at my legs like <gasps> but there was there, there were trousers on the sofa I didn't point point them out I didn't do anything like that I didn't do anything to help you more than I don't have trousers and you're like and suddenly you turn you come to my closet you open it and you take a, a trouser I, again there was trousers there's like my pajamas and stuff like that you didn't go there you went straight to the closet and got a new pair of trousers I mean clean right I was like, wow, this kid is amazing. <laughs> so that, that was one more thing that happened that it was incredible. Uh, mommy and I were like, wow, so cool. And the last two, two days only, for some reason, you love running, right? Really, as fast as you can. But lately, what you're doing is you're kind of squatting a little bit and you do like this. And you're just like... And then you start <laughs> running. And then you go somewhere and you stop. And you start again. <laughs> so cute. And there's something you do for, for quite a while now. That I think it's because you feel like you are going faster. But you, 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 you put one of your arms straight to the back like this. And, and you're inclined forward. Smart. That's the way you should run. And you start doing this. <laughs> you know, and, and you're running and it's fast but of course not as fast as you think you're going but you're like that's so cute man <laughs> love it so anyway so that's the thing and the last thing I I, 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 I went to the restaurant again this uh, this evening and I asked my mommy to to call before she got you to bed and we usually don't open a video because, because you get very frustrated. You still don't understand that daddy, yes, daddy is here, but you cannot touch him. He cannot touch you. You get really upset about, about this. So, so for a while, I told her, you know what? I, I told mommy, stop, let's stop the videos because I don't want to have you to have stress that daddy doesn't touch you or you feel like why he doesn't touch me or I cannot touch him or anything but today I just missed him a lot and she opened the camera and you started saying me and you were like in great mood and you were like like talking and like blah blah blah, blah you know like whatever you you can do and uh, kind of talking and but the cool thing is that 
mommy told you, like, give him a kiss, give him a kiss. As I have told you, you don't give a lot of kisses. You actually haven't kissed mommy for like two weeks now. So <laughs> go and kiss mommy right now or just call her and send her a lot of kisses because you're terrible. I think mommy is the person that you kiss the least in the whole world. Not nice. Anyway, <laughs> it's, it's funny. But so and, 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 and you did. You went straight to the phone and you tried to kiss me because you don't know yet. You don't understand yet that what the me in the screen is not me me right and you went straight and, I tr and you tried kissing me twice mommy and i was like wow amazing right because in your usual self in your even like this like when we are physically together you don't want to kiss anyone but you did and not even that but in on the phone me on the phone so it was quite 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 amazing so yeah that's it kid so It was a beautiful Sunday together, Daddy and you, and today it was a nice day. I love seeing how you develop. I, I love seeing how smart you are. Yeah, it's just, it's just again, I, I keep saying it, and, and I, I don't care. Why do I have to care? I, I just love you, and I think it's the most beautiful, most awesome thing in the world to have you. And every day I, I thank God for, for allowing me to, to have you in my life. You are the best gift. You are, you are the biggest blessing in the universe. And um, yeah, tomorrow, one of these days, I actually wanted to tell you what's happening in my life and how I am trying to, to find balance between all the thing all the things you know like i have to do as a provider right as a father that provides um and to find and, and to find that balance between those obligations those things that you you need right that cost money and uh and at the same time give you the most possible time and attention possible I really want to talk about it because I want you to know and by the time you're watching this video you will know how it all resolved but uh, yeah let's just suffice to say that I have to come to believe that I know a lot of men a lot, a lot of friends you know that well, some have They're wealthier than, than us. Some are less wealthy than us. But I have seen that a lot of them have enough resources for the parents to really be much, much closer to their kids, to have much more time together with their families. But they don't because they want to provide more, to be better parents, to give them the best of the best. At what point is enough? What is enough? You know, how much do I have so I can, so I can dedicate myself almost as fully as possible to, to be your daddy, you know, to be a daddy that is present, that is loving, that is attentive, that, that takes care of you, that educates you, that guides you, that... that is present in your life. You know, I don't want to be a dad that 70 or 80% of the time isn't present. And just mom is telling you, oh, daddy loves you a lot. That's why he's never with us. Because he's providing blah, 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 blah. It's like, really? If, you know, my, my father was hardly ever at home because he was working and making money to provide for the family. Yes, but did we need a lot? Did we need all that? Would I have liked more to have daddy instead of having just the knowledge that dad is working for me and because of me, I cannot have him? And I have to be with, with that, at that time, 
we had a driver too. So I spent more time with my driver or with the driver, you know, than, than with my dad. So I'm trying to work out the best way, the most balanced way to provide without compromising my time with you because the only thing I will take when, um, when I die is knowing that I enjoyed you to the fullest extent possible ever. So I'll, I'll talk about it soon. Kid, I love you with all my heart. You're the best. I hope you're doing great in your life. You make sure that you are happy and you are having a great life. Because that's all that matters. I love you. Bye-bye.